inside the guard, my gym here, we call, if I'm inside the guard, it's an inside footlock. If I'm outside of the guard, we call it an outside footlock. Other gyms call it the opposite, I understand. But for today's terms, we look at inside the guard first, okay? Inside the guard, we want to use hand, of course, and deep. The thing is that I know a lot of people teach this. I've had opponents try this on me all the time. They grab the old-fashioned grip. It's not wrong, but I'll show how it's, it's inferior or it's, it's, it's uh, too conventional and easy to defend this way, okay? Of course, my, my foot position is off right now. We'll go over that later, okay? Simple. This right here, the thought behind it is, especially in Brazil, classic uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is, my hands are close to my hips, and that's where the power comes from. That's your core. And that's true. However, another very important uh, principle in Jiu-Jitsu is posture. Using my back with posture on top of my hips, it adds double or triple the power. Okay? To empower that, we're going to use a guillotine grip. Okay? Simple. If you grab in this manner, it's biceps, it's okay. It's not as strong as going over, grabbing the top guillotine. This is like an Olympic lift. You see Olympic wrestlers, Olympic power lifters using this lift, not this lift. It's not as strong. Okay? Grab over, and we're going to pinch here. Opposite directions. Okay? My chest goes toward you guys, and my elbows pull to myself. The opposing directions has a, lot of, uh, uh, has a lot of power in the movement, okay? It's not a big movement, but it's extremely powerful. You can even do this with one, with one arm with time. One arm you can do, okay? So I'll show the old-fashioned way, of course. Simple. Simple, okay? Foot position is off right now. We're looking at just the hands, okay? This right here. First of all, the guy oftentimes will grab my hand and pull it off, okay? That's one problem. Second of all, it doesn't hurt as bad. It's not as damaging as if you're higher. You can already, already feel it. It's different. Okay? So it's important when you're inside the guard, we're going to go right here. It's going to catch right on this hook. That's where you want your arm placement. Here. You want to use the middle of the form. I know people teach different stuff. My way is not the only one that works, but it's very successful at the highest level of competition in the world. I feel like the toughest guys in the world finish them with footlocks. This really does work. Okay? If you use the shallow part of your wrist, I know a lot of the Russian guys teach this. I understand, and it, it's a sharp area, and it hurts, and it can work. However, it's too shallow, in my opinion. If you go low, there's a lot of space. You see, see that space in the elbow? It's a lot. From the moose foot, and he feels it, but he can wiggle his foot, and if it's slippery, he's going to slip out, okay? Exactly. If you go very deep, and use this part, a lot of classic Jiu-Jitsu guys use this, and also they'll grab their own kimono, which is effective. Very deep. Not space but it's more cushiony. Even if you have hard muscles, it's, soft, it's softer than the bone. Right here in the middle. And I actually have slightly deformed arms because of footlocks, which uh, I'm not uh, upset by. It's no big deal. I gotta use my body for what I love to do, and that's jujitsu. In this case, it's footlocks. This area is sensitive on your arms. It's very sensitive, okay? But you can make it much tougher conditioning-wise. here. Now, I have the bone because I'm not too shallow. I'm right here. And I close the space off with my elbows bending to my ribs. Okay? Low. Right here. In the middle. So turn a little bit. There we go. Simple. I'm not too deep. It, this can work, okay? And this also can work. Okay? But I want to go right in the middle. Lock the guilty grip. And look at this. I turn my... He already feels it. Okay? The guy should be feeling the pain before you fall back. When you fall back, should be the finish. Most guys will tap before I fall back, actually. Okay? This is loading it up. And he feels it, okay? My foot position should be, to start to learn, lock the hip here. I'll show in a minute what the other foot should be doing, okay? Lock. I know people teach to fall to their side. That's fine. But just to keep it main in the same direction, let's keep it up, okay? Up. Now he feels it, okay? It's all the power in here with my hips. My hips are not activated yet. It's on top. My back is on top of my hips. So I'm using them but I'll finish with the hips and my legs. I start, I load here, okay? Like a shrug, I'm using my traps, my arms, my shoulders, my back, and my feet are pushing at the same time, but that's the finish. Very important, here. Your hand wants to stay right here, right between your chest, on your sternum. A little higher is okay, but it's not needed. Right here, perfect, like you're grabbing your pec, okay? Hold. Now, I do lift up a little bit. It's not about going here. It's about just 
right above my chest, okay? My elbows pinch down, and then I'll fall backwards. And this can dislocate the foot. Um, maybe there's always that 1% guy that won't tap. But if you do the old-fashioned way, you'll get about 10% won't tap, or more, 20%. You get one in five guys won't tap to your submission. If they're experienced, seasoned, scarred-up jiu-jitsu fighter or wrestler, they'll feel pain, but they won't tap this because it's not breaking. <coughs> Here. Up, pinch your elbows down, and your chest goes out. These opposite directions is key. If, when you go, this is the most important thing uh, about doing the foot lock correctly. If you go up here, and as you fall back, you let your hands slip down, you lost it. You dropped the ball. Okay? You have to keep it up. Let me show. If the motion I create, I start here. If I fall back and my hands slip down, I lost it. It didn't even matter. Okay? Keep it up, and it's extremely powerful. Extremely powerful. It's alarming. It's uh, slightly scary. It's how powerful it is. Here, up, and you, pin you pinch your elbows to your chest. Your chest goes out forward. Okay? Up, and then you fall back. Posture. Um, you want to look up and out, away, when you fall. Okay? Simple. Perfect spot right here. I got it. Tight, and lift up. Extremely powerful. Okay? <clears throat> Turn this for a little bit. One important detail here. I want this other foot. Let's turn it around. Right. <laughs> if my trail leg is right here, it's a mistake. Okay, it should be on the other hip, high on the thigh. So here, here, my leaves do pinch, yes. My foot is here. Very important. Okay. I block the hip and with pressure up. Be powerful. Ow. <laughs> Go for a foot lock on me. Let's see. Let's try this foot. Okay. But no, foot lock this one. Pretty right foot on the outside. If, and by the way, I know this is correct what he's doing, okay? Correct, squeeze your knees. Squeeze your knees together, knees together. Okay, this is what many world champions teach this. I understand, I see this all the time, okay? This hip is free. I'm more likely to generate momentum and spin out of things. I could also get up on top, maybe mount him. If it was a, a dirty fight, I'm a dirty fighter, I could kick him with his other leg, which I, when I fought in Japan, that was a completely encouraged tactic, by the way, okay? Illegal in UFC, but it was legal in Japan. So you definitely want to be blocking this far like, for many reasons. I can't kick if it wasn't a fight. I can't spin out because he has both hips controlled. This hip is controlled if he has my leg. And this one right here. I can't generate moment momentum because he's here. Okay? Furthermore, if his leg that's good. If his leg is here, you can easily push someone over and get this heel. And this is a heel hook, actually. It would be illegal in IB JJF rules. Okay, but it's, it's a damaging move. So you don't want to have your foot here. Okay? Pull up. And it's a real submission, you see. Real. Simple. You don't want your foot there. You want it on the opposite side. Let's squeeze your legs together. And put your right foot on my hip. Put, put your toes outwards. Ah, there we go. See, it hooked perfectly. This is good. Right there. Okay? Do the guillotine grip. Aha. Pull it up to your chest. Now put your chest out to me. Exactly. Perfect. Okay? If the guy's foot pops, it's a, you're doing a good job. Okay? No problem. We have to trust your partner. We're not here to hurt each other. We're here to learn. Okay? Pull your heads higher. There we go. Guilt out. Uh, pinch your elbows down and chest up out. There we go. That will dislocate someone's foot. Okay? You'll get that one percenter, but sometimes here and there that won't tap, but he's gonna be in pain and hey, it can break his foot even. It can dislocate and actually be a real submission, okay?